Ladies, Sherry here from No Flex Giving Care. How's it going? So this is going to be a Divine Feminine reading for April 29th until May the 7th, 2017. Uh, so I wanted to mention real quick that I'm not going to be doing any readings next week. I'm completely booked up this weekend. Uh, so I want to take ooh, some time to work on my cards. Oh, nice. And the full card. So new beginnings. Um, yeah, so I'm working on this description uh, book for the card. So I, I really need to concentrate on that. I really want to get it done so I can get these cards out to you guys. All right, so I'm using the John Holland. And I'm going to be doing a Celtic wing. And I will be using my cards for clarifiers for... So three cards per position. So I've been doing a little bit more work on my cards as well. You can see I still have paint on my hands. Um, but they're done now. I'm not going to touch them anymore. Okay. So, um, present position. Nice. Balance. So you're bringing this energy into the Twin Flame Union for the Twin Flame reading. Um, so this is karma, um, but it's also a state of complete balance, harmony. Um, so it's cause and effect energy. So what you put out, you get back. So you're feeling um, balanced and like justice has been served. Or maybe you want justice to be served for something, but we'll pull the clarifiers. Nice. Completion. Six of Wands. And Six of Swords. So a major cycle has been completed. You feel like the last piece of the puzzle has been put in place. And um, Spirit is telling you that, yes, it's done. Um, this cycle could be from up to 20 years to a lifetime to complete. So it's going through all of the stages of evolution, you know, in terms of consciousness, your awakening. Um, it's going through the fire many, many times. And, um, and because you've done your work, uh, then rewards are coming towards you and you're being recognized for that hard work. So karma is coming back to you in a good way. The Six of Wands is success and victory. So it's being recognized once again for that hard work that you've done in terms of your spirituality and following um, you know, your true authentic path. And um, so you feel victorious um, and you're being recognized not only by spirit, by, but also by people around you. You're shining your light. You know, you're like a rock star. Um, and um, people are proud of you and they're seeing you as an example. The Six of Swords is moving on. So it's making that decision to walk away from any kind of negative energy or thoughts. But it's, you know, actually making that decision. So, you know, I'm not sure where this energy is coming from, but you know, it's kind of like a side energy that's lingering, like, okay, yeah, i am completed this cycle. I'm feeling um, balanced. I'm feeling, you know, accomplished. And I feel rewards coming towards me. And um, I'm shining my light. I'm being an example to others. And I'm not letting negativity affect me anymore. Negative people, negative thoughts. Okay, so foundation, solitude, the hermit. So the reason why you feel so balanced and hopeful and excited is because you've been retreating. The hermit detaches from the material world, from society's conditionings, um, cuts the chains, releases themselves and goes on a spiritual quest in order to gain wisdom and knowledge but also to find your light within, to shine it brightly. Knight of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, and the Hangman. 
So the Knight of Pentacles, it's making a plan and then carrying that plan out and arriving at your destination. So there's a sense that there was an arrival. Um, and it's in the past because it's the foundation of the reading. So there was an arrival in the 3D. Um, something that you've wanted for a very long time was manifested. And it had to do with um, the Nine of Cups, which is wish granted. The masculine got this in his present position. Um, so this is feeling emotional abundance, just being overjoyed and happy and excited. Um, but it's also doing the things that make you happy. Um, so it's an arrival, you know, um, just experiencing the finer things in life. The hangman is surrender, so letting go of control and seeing things from a different perspective, from a higher perspective, from a more enlightened perspective. So you've gained wisdom, you've surrendered, you've let go of any attachments and expectations, and you continued forward with this heavy, earthy, grounded energy, one step at a time, not giving up, and you're moving towards um, love you're letting your heart guide you uh, and using your intuition your inner knowing and wisdom that you've acquired along this journey in order to guide you okay so recent past disruption the tower so this was a crowning energy for the twin flame reading and what did you get I think you got, I don't know, but the card threw me off because it was almost like you were in this, ex, you know, surrender, kind of accepting. You wanted the tower to come down, and so it came down. Um, you know, that old life, those attachments that you were holding on to, um, came down in your recent past, and that's is because you wanted it to. So this is a sudden energy it comes in out of the blue. Uh, so it's happening to you. Um, you wanted it to happen and there you have it. So this is letting go of your, your old life uh, in the material world. And with that, from that destruction comes a new life. A new solid structure is built on top of it. So a new beginning. Death card, of course. Wow, three of swords and the high priest. Death card, metamorphosis, transformation, a death of the ego, a death of your old self. Um, so it's letting your old identity drop away and being reborn into something completely new. So it's growing butterfly wings. It's transformation on a massive scale, especially with the tower card so you made or uh, not made but something happened that changed you um, that rocked your world and created this transformation um, so the three of swords is um, heartbreak uh, so I feel that you let go of this heartbreak um, or something happened that released you from pain. I'm saying that you're past it because it's in the past and because the high priest is in a more forward futuristic, you know, position here. You know, it kind of tells a storyline here. So the main energy is the tower, but the tower has these three energies associated with it, which is transformation heartbreak and enlightenment awakening um, so the high priest is the d divine masculine um, stepping into this leadership role this um, spiritual leader and you know guiding others on their spiritual path so major consciousness shift here um, or this could represent that the masculine is with you in the 5T while this transformation occurred. Um, 
but really I feel that the feminine as a collective has let go of any attachments um, any um, fears of having your heart broken um, just cutting away the darkness your identity um, your old life and starting from this zero point so it's almost like you're in that you were in a state of waiting and it was because of that connection with your masculine that awakening so that's why you have that world card the universe card the final piece of the puzzle because you've been through the fire numerous times and uh, that's why you're balanced right now you've turned away from negativity you see how successful you are so what is it that you desire and likely to get two of wands again so this was the heart-centered energy for the twin flame reading so this is uh, making a decision in the past that was based on living your true authentic life doing the things that make you come alive and feel passionate um, and it wasn't based on fear so this decision has already been made when this card shows up it means it's already been made and you're waiting for the return you're waiting for the fruits of your labor so this is what you desire you want the wait to be over three of wands okay nice progression Queen of Wands. Oh, I think there's two here. Yes, there is. Two of Wands again, and then an Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so the Spirit's really trying to make a point here. Okay, so what I'm seeing here is um, start living your true authentic life. You already know you're on the right path. You feel that success. You're already starting to see the fruits of your labor and it's exciting you and it's driving you forward um, lots of wand energy so the Queen of Wands is um, you stepping into that um, spiritual fiery passionate energy being the Queen of no fucks given and um, you know taking control and actually directing your energy towards your goals, your passions. Um, she's also very charismatic, the center of attention, you know, just being on fire and and not being afraid to shine. The two of wands, once again, making that decision in the past that was based on living your true authentic life. Um, but it also talks about the expansion of the mind, seeing all the possibilities and seeing how you're connected to the universe. You are the universe. But it's really, you know, walking through that door. You already made that decision to walk through the door and be uh, the Queen of Wands and live your authentic uh, life. The Ace of Pentacles is a brand new beginning in the 3D world. So you want that new start that um, new start in the physical and um, so that's what you're waiting for the decision has already been made to do that and you feel successful you feel on fire uh, and ready and uh, but you're waiting okay uh, crossroads wow crown chakra nice so, um, you know, it's just um, a step up in consciousness and, you know, the highest level. So, once again, realizing that you are the universe looking back at yourself. So, you are consciousness. You are awareness. And, you know, understanding that connection to the collective, to source, and, and tapping into that power. Ten of Wands, Five of Cups, and Page of Cups. 
So the Ten of Wands is exhaustion. It's carrying burdens, burning the candle at both ends, but it is an ending to that. So no more. Um, so in the near future, there's going to be an aha, I know. That's what crown chakra means, I know. It's thought, it's um, a deeper sense of knowing. And it's going to bring an end to this feeling, this ten of pentacles, or sorry, wands, exhaustion, you know, uh, being caught in the machine. The five of cups is the mourning card, so it is uh, feeling loss uh, and grieving that loss. You know, having an attachment to something and when it's gone, you know, it creates that mourning loss. So it's, Spirit is saying to allow those tears to fall. And tears are healing rain. Or, t he yeah, that's it. Tears are he healing rain. So, I mean, maybe this mourning, this loss, you know, it's coming from the recent past with the three swords. That's heartbreak. Something occurred um, to push you beyond that pain. And it's love and awareness, consciousness, being released from the machine, the matrix, um, clearing yourself of attachments and letting that feel, you know, allowing yourself to feel that loss, that pain, um, but ultimately um, it's because of a love and wanting to express yourself fully. And so the Page of Cups is a messenger, you know, uh, wanting that new beginning. So near future position, crossroads, an awakening and a release from pain and exhaustion. And it could come as a result of communication with your love. Or um, you could be releasing yourself from that. You know, sometimes people overwork themselves um, because they don't want to think about anything else, you know, except work. It's um, hiding in the machine can be a choice. Um, well, it is a choice. So it's an end to that. And like I said, um, Anytime you attach yourself to something and it leaves, then you're going to feel that sense of loss and mourning. So maybe it's an awakening to that realization that you still have some attachments or expectations. I don't know. Um, but I'm feeling there's an end to that. Like an aha moment almost. And may come in the form of communication. Or it could mean, you know, that you, some of you are, are exhausted and um, this whole journey has been taking a toll on you to a point where it's done. Do you know what I mean? Like um, that cycle, that very long cycle is done, it's completed, you know, no more, you're walking away and so... Um, yeah, it's clarity and awareness. The masculine kind of got that in his reading. Awareness. The veil of illusion being burned away. So his was more of a thought kind of energy, whereas the feminine is more of a fiery, um, emotional type of energy. Okay, so what are you resisting? Nine of Swords, Suffering in Silence. So this is um, a self-imposed uh, energy. So you are staying up at night, consumed with thoughts and fear, anxiety, stress, guilt. And um, you're doing it in order to... Um, well, I guess you're... You know that you can release yourself from this. You know that um, it is just an illusion, but you're choosing to believe it, is what I'm trying to say, I guess. You're choosing to stay where you are. You're choosing to think that you are suffering alone. Because, you know, like I said, you create your reality around you. If you desire a happy, blissful world, then you need to believe that that's the type of world that you live in. And, um, you know, if you believe that the world isn't nasty and ugly, then that's the world that you're going to be, to be living in. 
So it's changing your perspective, which you've already done, you know, in this hermit. But there's a sense that there's still this resistance. Okay, well, let's see what else is going on. King of Pentacles. The Chariot again. And the Page of Pentacles. So the King of Pentacles is the could represent an earth sign, but it's the masculine in the 3D. You want him, you want him in your life in the 3D world. You want to reach out and hold him for those that are in separation. Um, so the chariot is, you know, doing the things that make you happy um, and taking control and actually moving forward. So once again, there's a sense of waiting and longing and wanting that energy to come towards you, to have a new start in the 3D. So the, <clears throat> sorry, the Page of Pentacles is making plans um, and carrying out those plans. So there's a sense that you started something and arrived at a destination in, you know, as a foundation, um, but you're resisting moving forward and continuing to make plans and um, manifest what you desire into the 3D because maybe you're starting to believe the thoughts, those voices in your head, or the stories that other people are telling you about yourself that you aren't good enough or that this is just an illusion, it's not happening. Um, so you're really conflicted. Back and forth energy. Okay, internal. Third eye chakra. Okay, so once again, we've got the crown chakra, third eye chakra, awareness, awakening. You're connected to source, but why are you resisting releasing yourself from that mental prison? I don't understand. Um, okay, well, let's put more cards. So third eye is using your inner seeing. Um, you know, you're having your third eye activated and having visions or even, you know, just um, down or connecting with source and um, absorbing the positive energy. So it's rejuvenation, but it's meditative. It's connecting with source, using your inner knowing um, to guide you, your inner seeing. Okay, five of wands, king of wands. And four of wands. So fiery again. So obstacles and challenges. So this is just a minor challenge. Something that is meant to make your light shine brighter. So it's a growth card. Um, so you're being challenged. Or you're believing that there's an obstacle in front of you. That's stopping you. The king of wands is, once again, fiery, passionate energy. Um, the leader, taking control, making shit happen. Um, the Four of Wands is my Twin Flame 1111 calling card for all the de all other decks. In my deck, I use the 1111 card that I've actually made. So we'll return it to its original meaning, which is arrival. Um, wanting that to share your life with your masculine, but on a spiritual level. The wand is spirituality. Um, and it's living your true authentic life, that life that you've always wanted. So it's um, a new beginning and, and this excitement and optimism about the future. So it could mean marriage or um, buying a home together or traveling. So um, internally you feel connected to your masculine and you know, through the third eye chakra, um, on a spiritual level, um, you can feel each other's energy and see each other. Um, but no, um, you know, it's just a minor obstacle. You feel like there's something stopping this union from fully occurring, but it really, it's just a minor challenge that needs to be overcome. Okay, so what is your external light? The sun, the masculine got this in his present position. So it's 
the best, most positive major arcana. It's um, shining your light, being in this, the light, um, being recognized um, for your spiritual work. But it's, you know, stepping into your power, your strength, courage. And it also represents a return to innocence um, and a new beginning in life. Eight of Swords, the Knight of Wands, and Eight of Wands. So Eight of Swords, the Masculine kept on getting this, both in the Twin Flame and the Divine Masculine reading. So it's feeling trapped, imprisoned by an energy from the outside that's oppressing him. <laughs> so this is your external environment. So the Masculine, although he feels you know, like he's illuminated and on fire. He knows what his purpose is and he wants a new beginning and he, you know, he and spirits recognizing him for that. But all, but there's something stopping him, an energy that is stopping him from fully manifesting this. So an oppressive energy from the outside. And, but the thing is, is that he's choosing to believe that he is imprisoned that he can't move forward. Um, so in his reading, he is releasing himself from that. He kept getting the Ten of Swords. Uh, so there's an ending to that. And here we have him literally blasting out of that darkness into the sun. So the fire, or sorry, the um, Knight of Wands is fire passion um, it's going after your dream um, your desires and with full fury like force um, literally an explosion out of the gate towards your destiny and there's nothing stopping you the eight of wands um, is communication so uh, it could be texting or phoning uh, but it's also it's Cupid's arrows so it also represents reaching for the stars and, you know, for your higher um, purpose, your dreams, and making that, or now that energy is now coming back towards you. So, yeah, he, <laughs> there's like this explosion of fire and passion in your external environment, and it's coming out of that place of darkness, release, freedom. Okay, so what is the final outcome for these three cards? Three of Pentacles, recognition and reward. Firm foundation is grounded, and there is a sense of success and victory. So um, for the Twin Flame reading, the Two of Pentacles, well, the Two of Pentacles keeps showing up in this um, weekly series here. So a decision has been made, and there's... A sense of change occurring in the 3d world and the, you will be successful you know in, in terms of um, that change working out for you and that foundation being grounded and um, the fruits of your labor labor being you know coming towards you but there's still a sense of more work that needs to be done seven of wands Judgment and Nine of Pentacles. Awesome. Seven of Wands. Um, recurring theme for the masculine in the Twin Flame reading. It's finding your strength, courage, determination, um, and you know, standing up for yourself and speaking up. Finding power. Um, being the king of the hill. You know, um, knowing your core values and expressing them. Judgment card is the Grand Awakening card. Recognizing or realizing that your entire life is just a movie projected on the screen in your own mind. So it's a rebirth. And the Nine of Pentacles is independence, financial freedom um, in, you know, in the 3D world. Not having any attachments to the material world, but being at that point where you can enjoy yourself. Uh, so this represents harvest. The fruit is ready to drop from the branch. 
So three of pentacles, outcome energy. Um, there's a sense that, you know, because of your awakening, because of you are coming into your power, into your strength, speaking, expressing yourself, um, that abundance and harvest is coming towards you. What you, you can create um, the reality that you desire. And so there's a sense of you stepping into that role, creating that reality and making it this nine of pentacles. You know, enjoying the finer things in life, arriving. So you're manifesting um, your dreams, the reality that you desire. Okay, summary outcome. Nice, star card, wish granted. Okay, queen of pentacles. Whoa. Strength card and the Fool card. So, Queen of Pentacles. So, um, this is the this is someone who is independent, um, who either owns their own business or is hi, you know highly educated, but they built up a wealth for themselves and they share their abundance with everyone it doesn't matter who they are they just give they're very generous they spread their seeds um, so this also represents the divine feminine in the 3d form the strength card <clears throat> sorry the strength card is using love kindness and compassion in order to tame the beast within or deal with the situation around you the Full card is taking that leap of faith, brand new beginning, and um, yeah, so starting from zero, um, returning to a state of innocence and childlike um, enthusiasm, and not having attachments and just taking that leap of faith. So overall, this you know you want that abundance, or sorry, you want that new life to actually manifest. You're waiting for that 3D, for that new beginning. And as a summary, your wishes are, are being fulfilled. Um, and you want that independent new beginning um, life in the 3D. And like I said, it's your wishes and are coming true. So this card comes at a time, you know, after a very difficult period of time. So it's a healing card as well. So your independence and this new start, like I said, is coming towards you. Okay, so final outcome. High Priest again. So, like I said, he showed up in the recent past with the Tower, the Death card, and the Three Swords. So this awakening, what I saw from it is that this awakening really put an end to fears. You dealt with your fears. You dealt with your um, attachments, you know, uh, pain and um, stories and all that. You know, your old life, you put it, you put it to an end um, because of your awakening. So here he is again, two of swords. Nine of Swords and Six of Pentacles. Two of Swords is having two choices. Um, they both have far reaching consequences, and um, there's a sense that the decision is too important to make so you don't make it at all, so nothing happens. The Nine of Swords, you got this in what you're resisting, so here it's coming up again in, as a final outcome. Now, in the Twin Flame reading, the Devil card showed up as a final outcome and something else I can't remember. But there's still fear, something, a decision. You're waiting on a decision. This decision keeps showing up. You're waiting on this decision. And it's causing you anxiety. But yet you know you need to walk away from any negative talk you know, any negative thinking. 
Um, so once again, there's that back and forth energy. So the Six of Pentacles, cohabitation card, sharing your life with the masculine in 3D. You want that new, you want to share your life with the masculine, and you're waiting, and you're waiting for that decision to be made. Um, so ultimately, uh, I think what this card is saying is return to that leadership role in terms of spirituality. Um, I don't think it's talking necessarily to the masculine. I think it's talking to you, the feminine, is to be the leader. <clears throat> and that will help you make a decision. It will help you release those, um, you know, fears that are holding you back or that attachment to wanting to share your life with the masculine in the 3D. But also, you know, this card represents, you know, the masculine being with you in the 5D always. And it's a kind of like a reassurance, um, you know, that he wants to be there with you in the, the 3D, but he can't. Because he's trying to make a decision about how to share his life with you. Because it's masculine energy here. So maybe he makes that decision. Okay, so I'm going to look at the bottom of the deck for the overall energy. Nice. Nine and cups. So, again, wish granted. Your wishes are coming true. The masculine got this in his present position. Um, so emotional abundance, being happy, um, and it's an arrival card. You know, doing the things that make you happy and... Uh, emotionally fulfilled. Okay, so I can't find my book for Call It Bear Read, so I'm going to pull a card from the Yosho and I will read that to you for the message from the universe. I hope this, you know, reading made sense. Um, it's like you're awake, you're aware, um, you know, you keep finding the state of balance. But then there's these lingering fears, and it seems to be a repeated theme. But you can really see the progress on the masculine side in terms of releasing his fears. Uh, so um, we need to reflect that, you know, that growth. If one runs, the other one runs one steps towards, the other one steps towards. So mirroring, you project fear, um, she or he will project fear. Okay. Maturity, Ace of Pentacles again. So here it is. You desire uh, that new beginning in the 3D world. Um, so the message is in regards to that. So let's see what's Spirit says. Wow, I open to the page. Okay. This figure stands alone, silent and yet alert. The inner being is filled with flowers that carry the quality of springtime and regenerate wherever he goes. This inner flowering and the wholeness that he feels affords a possibility of unlimited movement. He can move in any direction, within and without. It makes no difference, as his joy and maturity cannot be diminished by externals. He has come to a time of centeredness and expansiveness. The white glow around the figure is his protection and his light. All of life's experiences have brought him to this time of perfection. When you draw this card, know that, or sorry, know well that this moment carries a gift for hard work well done. Your base is solid now and success and good fortune are yours for they are the outcome of what has already been experienced. Okay, so, well, um, you know, success is what's coming towards you. So, uh, that new beginning. Um, so, flower within and, um, you know, shine your light for all to see. Be optimistic and hopeful. Okay, I hope this resonated, guys. Love you much. Peace.